Leg guards is not good though. B at best. Is there even leg guards in this game? <laughs> There's no leg guards in Termina. I don't think there are leg guards in Termina. Can somebody prove me wrong here? There's a leg guard in Termina. <laughs> leg guard, leg guard, deepest lore. Okay, so today we are doing a Fear and Hunger Termina accessory tier list. We're going over every single accessory you can get in the game. We're going to start with... Who's going to go down the list? Well, actually, no. You know what? We'll start with Pinecone Pig. Pinecone Pig, easy yes. It's easy yes, right? Where else can Pinecone Pig go? Not only is it cute, it's adorable, it's lovely, it's sweet, it's amazing. You know, it it, it does a little dance. I, I don't know. What, what else can you say? Huge S. Exactly. Huge, it's top of S here. Just straight up. Like, how, how can you beat it? Um, okay. Plank Shield. Plank Shield, right? You, you'll you often get this. It's, it drops pretty commonly. So you'll usually get at least one of these in a playthrough. Better than nothing. <laughs> but it's... It's... You, you, you'll get... You'll always get better stuff for this. However, if you're going solo and you're getting... Even if, if you're getting like a full party, you'll, you'll usually have a spot for this. Great on ghouls because you want higher defense for them. So it's not D tier because it definitely has a place. Um, it's always got a place in a party, I think. It's just not very strong because there are better, much better ones and there's usually better depending on the situation. But I'm going to put it on, on C tier, I think, for that. This basically applies to all the shields, really. Um, so we might as well do these all at the same time. Ballistic Shield is a little better because it just has higher defense. It, there's usually better stuff for the situation. Shield of the Four is similar again. It's So what Shield of the Four is, it's the same physical defense as the Plank Shield, but it also has a bit of magic defense as well. There's like two fight, two or three fights that actually require it, and it's like, you just don't. <laughs> you just don't need it. Because by the time you get to those fights, you've got better healing stuff anyway. So if, if you've got it, again, it, it's better than, than Plank Shield, and it, you, you'll always find a spot for it. Unless you're going pure solo, if you've got party members of any sort, then this will... The, the shields usually help with that. I'm, you know, I'm going to bump this down a bit. So we've got Beetle Stone. Now, Beetle Stone, how that works is it restores 10 mind every turn. This is amazing for casters because it's basically infinite mind. If you extend a fight out even more, you, can, you just get more mind. So it, it's pretty fantastic. It's not mandatory for a caster build, but it is very good. You can get uh, get them guaranteed as well, which is nice. You can you get them for free in the church. So I'm going to say A tier. I'm not going to put it in S tier because I think everything that goes in S tier should be stuff that's like you build around this item. Like your build relies on this trinket. Beetlestone isn't that. It's very, very useful, but it's I don't, I don't find it mandatory. So Ring of the Steel Blood. Ring of the Steel Blood. Uh, it just prevents bleeding. And it's like, it's okay. There are a lot of things that give bleeding, but there's also a lot of things that heal bleeding too. You're not going to run out of stuff that heals bleeding. You're just not. So this ring, what it does is okay, but its its usefulness is lessened by everything else in the game. So I'm going to put it in... I'm honestly going to put it in D tier. I only ever use it when I have nothing else. Fluted arm pieces. So what these do is they prevent arm loss, which is really nice. Uh, but the downside, and it gives you more defense as well, which is which is also nice. So it's like a better shield, basically. But it also lowers your agility. These ones are, I think this might be the only guaranteed way to prevent arm loss. Because everything else I think is RNG. So this is very nice if you're worried about losing your arms. Like if, say, if you're fighting Heartless or something like that. But there are better ones. They're just RNG. And the, the lowering of agility is really, really annoying. So I'm going to put it in B tier because it's, it's good for some builds. But it's got big downsides and there is better stuff. But it's always good there. It's always good in a pinch, right? And arm guards are basically a better, a better fluted arm pieces. But these are RNG, so it's sort of like I'm gonna put them above fluted arm pieces. But you can never guarantee getting them is the issue. Soul Devour Necklace is junk. Soul Devour Necklace is junk. You can get a guaranteed one of these. You're going to get a shitload of them from the Crimson Fathers. You're going to find a lot of them in in chests and barrels, and you can buy them for some inexplicable reason. It's po it's pointless though. Magic defense, like, what, plus 11. It's like, there's, like, one or two fights that even require magic defense, and this just has nothing in them, so. <laughs> Only useful if you have a party of ghouls, and you want to stack defense on them for a, for a specific fight. That's it. That's that's the only time it's ever useful. And even then, it doesn't do, it doesn't do much. So, the Guardian Cameo. So, if you have Mastery of Vermin, you can speak to a rat and a crow in the slums to get this cameo, right? Which, it, I don't think it does anything by itself. But then, if you do a quest line where you go to the orphanage and then you speak to the ghosts using the talking board, there's another ghost you have to find somewhere. And that, when you speak to that ghost, it will inhabit the cameo and it becomes the guardian cameo. It's okay. Again, it's one of those defense boosting items. What it does is when you're on low health, it boosts your defense. It can come in clutch. 
at some points. You know, I don't find them super useful. So I find these just kind of useless. You know, what? I'm going to do the butterflies as well at the same time because they're, they're the same thing, right? So the half butterfly pendant, you can find one of those in the ruins behind the news agency. And again, what it does is it boosts your defense when your health is low. And if you're Olivia, you can get two pieces and you can combine them to a full butterfly pendant. It, it's called something else, but whatever. And it, it drastically improves your defense when your health is low. And only Olivia can get this trinket. Only Olivia can get the double butterfly trinket. It automatically makes its usefulness much lower. It's like these are all just sort of a pain to get and not worth the time. Again, only useful on ghouls or extra party members. Or if you have one party member you want to be tanky, then it's okay. Okay, so eyeglasses, useless. It's absolutely useless. Um, what the eyeglasses do is they boost your accuracy. You don't miss anyway. The only thing that you need accuracy on is the head but the head doesn't use accuracy to calculate whether it hits or not because it has a separate evasion stat. So the glasses are actually useless because there's no items in the game that lower your accuracy. So at best, you're going to go from like 90 to 95% hit chance. And it's like, it's nothing. It's, it's pointless. Just don't don't ever use this, the glasses. Never use the glasses because they, are, they do nothing. Oh, you can also get broken glasses which don't even boost your accuracy. So they're, they're, they're literally, that, that's a joke item. So I'm not, they didn't include that. Um, okay, so beheaded wizard, uh, S tier. Mechanically, Nashra doesn't do much. I i don't think I've even seen, because he's got 30% chance to reflect spells. I don't think I've ever seen even seen it work. Like you can get completely screwed with RNG with what this head does. But if you play as Osar and you use this, he has unique dialogue. So it's worth it just for that. I think it's cool. Um, if you're not playing as Osar, and let's assume it's for every character, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> D tier. <laughs> he's just, he's just kind of useless. <laughs> Leechmonger ring, easy S. Easy S. You build around Leechmonger ring. I had Leechmonger ring and meat grinder and uh, Heartless literally couldn't kill me. Leechmonger is, is arguably too strong. It's just, what, so what it does is when you deal physical damage, some of that damage comes back and, and heals you back, right? It restores so much health so much health and it's guaranteed like you can just go and pick it up halfway through the game and then then you just get it for free if you're doing a physical build you just need leechmonger hardened heart is so a lot of people love the hardened heart so what the hardened heart does is if you have more than one hp you you won't die from a single attack so say an enemy deals 150 damage in a single hit you can use a hardened heart and you'll survive with one hp uh the only issue is that there's only, I think there's only one attack in the game that deals more than 100 damage. That attack isn't guaranteed. It's, it's, it's with Platoon, right? Because you can guard that attack and you won't take, you won't take the full damage. You can win the coin flip and you won't take, you'll only take 30 damage instead, which is still a lot, but it's not 100. It's not 100 plus. I don't think there's any other attack in the game or any other enemy in the game that will deal more than 100 health damage in a single turn. Unless you get super unlucky and get comboed by like, by like every, every feather from Pakeli and, and crit every single time. But even then, even if it's a multi-attack, Hardened and Heart doesn't work because if you get dropped down to one HP and then hit again, then Hardened and Heart stops working because that's a, that's a second attack. So Hardened and Heart isn't as useful as people say it is. It's useful in one boss fight. But again, I think it's ghoul tier. I think, I think you just give it to your ghouls. I'm going to put it in C tier because I don't think it's useful at all. I, I think it is, I think it's very overrated by the community. Small Things Amulet. I used to think this was easy S tier, but lately I have been really changing my builds up and I've been finding that it's not mandatory. I, it's still A tier. It's still very, very good. What Small Things does is it gives you plus five agility and agility of any form is really nice but if you get this and then you get another source of agility so i think you need six more agility from your starting i think it is so then you either get the the fear and hunger engraving or you get agility from the hexen or you get a second small things amulet so you stack two <laughs> it's kind of overkill what that means is that in basically every fight except i only know of one where it doesn't work you will get two turns guaranteed and this is very very good but the issue is one of those fights is against rare which is it's a final boss and you can't change between pakeli and rare you can't change your equipment out so what i started doing was instead of this just taking a brown vial instead by the end of the game you've almost, you're almost guaranteed to have alchemilia 3 and enough stuff to make a brown vial or you can just take pet pills, which are, which are a random drop, and you're almost guaranteed to get pet pills too. So I found that small things is not as useful as it used to be, but still very good. Especially when you when you don't want to use pet pills for, for lesser fights. Like, you know, if you're just fighting like a, a random boss or just a random mob and you don't want to... You still want the double turns, but you don't want to waste your pet pills. So it's very good, but not mandatory, I find now.
So not not quite S tier. What's next? Salmon Snake Room. Uh, easy S. Easy S. Uh, this is one that would be too strong if it was guaranteed, but it's not guaranteed. It's random. What Salmon Snake does is it prevents limb loss entirely, except for the head. You can still get your head taken off. Nothing prevents head getting taken off, I believe. It prevents burning, it prevents bleeding, and it prevents infections. So you can still get your legs taken off by, well, by bear traps, or hurting can still blow your limbs off. Um, Salmon Snake is just, it's just amazing. It's just an amazing thing. It's, it's, it's crazy how good it is. And the only downside is it's a it's a random drop, and you can you can go four or five playthroughs without ever seeing it. So okay, Ring of Wraith. So what Ring of Wraith does? It's sort of it's similar to Beetlestone, but this one restores body, so it restores health each turn. I don't think it's a huge deal, but it is sort of nice to have. I'm gonna put it on a high B tier because I usually I usually use it until I have better stuff, but it, it's it's one of the it's one of the better items to use than all this stuff. So there's a whole like C and D tier are like. I'm gonna put it in my in my equipment until I get something better. And Ring of Wraith is that. It's the best one of those, if that makes sense. But Ring of Wraith is fantastic when you start having extra party members. And it just tops them up slowly, but you don't have to spend as much healing resources on them. And you can get mod, and you will usually get more of these because they are they are a random drop, but they're not super uncommon. Okay, so Thorned Ring. What this does is it prevents poison. It's useful in like one fight. Um, <laughs> maybe two fights, right? Against it's it's useful against Moonless if you don't want to take out Miasma quickly enough, and it's useful against uh, Mechanical Dance. But even then, you don't even have to fight either of them. It's super limited, super limited in its uses. So I'm gonna, but but when it is useful, it is it actually is actually pretty useful. So I'm gonna put on low BT just for that reason. But outside of those fights, you just don't need it. You just don't need it. You can pick up one of these guaranteed in in Sylvian Square, so that's quite nice. Um, pigskin gas mask. It's okay. It's, 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 it's another one of these, these defense ones. So it's like, you know, same with the Bremen, Bremen gas mask. It's a little better because it, 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 it's a little bit more useful, but people say that these help prevent blindness, but blindness is such a rare status effect. Blindness is game ending, but the only enemy you need, well, you don't, you don't need to fight any enemy that causes blindness. Like it's, it's the Inquisitors and it's, and it's Moonscorch Marina and, and regular Marina admittedly. So I guess you, you do have to you usually do have to fight one of them. Chak Chak, very good, very good. So what Chak Chak does is it boosts your magic attack. It, it's just straight up a boost to, to magic. And you can get, you get one from Osar, you get one from the museum. I think you can steal one from Osar too. So you can, yeah, I think you can get two from Osar. I'm not sure. It's, it's been a minute since I used steal against him. You can find them as random drops. So you can, if, if you're doing a magic build, Chak Chak is mandatory. So I'm legit going to put it in S tier because if you're using a magic build, you just put a Chak Chak in there and you just start owning stuff. So. Death Mask boosts magic attack as well. So you have a Death Mask on, you have a couple of Chak Chaks, and then you have, you know, something else like, you know, Beetles, Beetle Stone or Artificial Soul. And it's like, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. You just, you start just dumping damage, right? Yige Getsu Amulet. So what the Yige Getsu Amulet does is it boosts your critical rate by 15%. It's good for a physical build, but it's not mandatory. So I don't know how much the crit boost is actually useful is a thing. I would like it more if I'm dedicating this much space to crits. So I'm going to put it high B tier. I'm going to put it here. Molded Doll. So what Molded Doll is, is it's another defensive one. It gives you plus magic defense, and but it also gives you a little bit of magic attack. The magic attack is nice, but it's a pain to get because uh, you, you got to do the talking board quest line and it's gonna, it's, it's immediately replaced the moment you start getting Chak Chaks. So it's not, it's not a huge deal. Um, I'm going to put it low. Low BT smelter key dog shit. It's it decreases fire damage. There's like what enemies even do fire damage? The priests can. They don't always, but they can do a fire damage, can't they? Bremen Bremen flame troopers and like that's it. Uh, artificial soul really good, really good. So what artificial soul does is it is it lowers the cost of your spells by thirty percent, and that's really good by itself. Uh, not mandatory because again you can sort of swap it out with beetles ring to sort of increase your magic generation instead of this. You definitely don't need both at the same time unless you're casting like fucking Scorched Earth and then Longinus and then Magna Medical. Like you don't, you do like the really expensive stuff. You don't need this much. So you can usually just take take two Chak Chaks and then one of these and you'll usually be fine. They're both very good and you can get multiple and they both, and they stack, right? This is, this is good outside of combat too. So you can, you can put this on and then you can cast healing spells and then take it off again. But again, RNG, so you can't guarantee it. 
which does bump it down a little bit. Eye of Sylvian, good. You don't need it in combat. So what, what Eye of Sylvian does is it increases the amount of healing you get. I find that you almost never need it in combat. It's really good if you get it early game and you don't have a lot of healing items to go around. Late game, it becomes a lot less useful because you'll usually have a lot more healing items. It's RNG and it's very rare. I've only gotten it a couple of times, which is bizarre. I think it's a lot rarer than it should be. It's not that good and I, th I think it's too rare. It does have a very good use when you when you actually get it. Um, so I'm going to put it below arm guards. I think it's I think it's it's good, but it's one of those ones you only use outside of combat. Joy Mask. So you can only get this from, apparently from Pocket Cat's room. You need a special key you can only get in Osar's opening. And it's got plus two defense, plus two magic defense. So it's like, it's something that only one character can get in, in a place that's difficult to get to. And it's, it's, it's useless. It's utterly, utterly useless. Um, I'm going to put this on the bottom of D tier. A law, well, the law isn't even interesting. So the, the item says, <clears throat> a leathery mask from ancient times. It is trying to mimic human faces with mixed results. The mask does bring joy to whoever wears it. Like, what's what's the law? What's the law there? Oh, oh, Pocket Cat had a mask from ancient times. Yeah, we know that. That's literally his face. Okay, so it's it's fine. Like, it doesn't it doesn't even tell us anything. I think that's everything then. Yeah, keeping your arms is is actually a pretty big deal when you're going a uh, a uh, physical build. You know, I'm you know what? I'm gonna bump that up to A, and I'm gonna bump this one up to low A as well. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this with this. What do you guys What do you guys think? Is there anything that you would change here? What do you reckon? Um, so this is going to be a YouTube video, so make sure to say hello to YouTube, or fuck you YouTube, whichever you prefer. What's, what's a, I, I keep stumbling on my outros. What's a good outro, guys? What do you reckon? Um, hey, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe the video, and please consider becoming a member if you like this content. We got more tier lists coming up soon because the well of content hasn't run dry yet. <laughs> Don't sell your soul to YouTube, baby. That was months ago. <laughs> Hey gamers, remember to join the cult. Doodle your face with the silly sigil. It only just needs a little bit of blood. Okay, we're done?